from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top story is another major public relations issue for the Department of Immigration to deal with. A 27-year-old Surinese woman has taken legal action against the government, claiming that she was drugged and raped by an immigration officer while she was being held at a safe house in March last year after being released from prison. She's since been deported. The allegations came up before, but immigration officials released a statement earlier saying that the department's complaint unit and the police sexual offenses unit did a complete investigation and released a statement saying there was no substance to those allegations. That statement said the woman denied the claim at the time. The court action was filed this week. The woman seeking damages claiming arbitrary and unlawful detention, false imprisonment, and breaches of constitutional rights. More signs that general elections are not far off. The PLP named six more ratified candidates, including a familiar name. Former Tourism Minister Obi Wilchcombe gets another chance. He gets the nomination for West Grand Bahama and Bimini. Others ratified are Patricia DeVoe for Bamboo Town, Kurt Hollinsworth for Marco City, Ginger Moxie in Pine Ridge, James Roll Turner for East Grand Bahama, Kirk Russell in Central Grand Bahama, and Leon Lundy in Mangrove Key. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Corona-related news, 33 more cases confirmed by the Ministry of Health for yesterday. 55 persons remain in hospital. There was another death confirmed, a 68-year-old Exuma woman. That takes the total to 215 now. No announcement yet on whether the emergency orders will stay in place when it expires on May 23rd, but one decision has been made by the government extending the Haiti travel ban for another month because it's not satisfied with the way Haiti is handling the outbreak there. The Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, also urging countries to act with utmost caution on loosening travel restrictions. The Defense Force announcing that it's now called off the search for Boda Turan Maynard, missing for more than a week on a trip from the capital to Abaco on a 22-foot boat. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Frontal system stationary over Florida will generate some related weather in the extreme northwestern part of the country. Could be some showers in that area elsewhere. Partly sunny, highs in the mid-80s. 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Next tide is a high around 10 this morning. Next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Chance of showers. Lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, the tension between Israel and Palestine getting higher, more attacks reported by both sides, and more casualties are being reported, including children. The United Nations is now warning that the two sides are on the verge of an all-out war, and the Security Council is scheduled to meet to discuss how to handle that situation. That while the coronavirus continues its rampage through India and now neighboring Nepal, Governments there are working to try and control the situation. 35 of India's 36 states are now under some sort of lockdown. The Prime Minister of Nepal has resigned over the government's handling of the situation there. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 486, SO 494, Rubis $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on Buddy Heal and the Sacramento Kings. 
As they continue a late season run at the NBA playoffs, the Tribune Sports has the story. There's a preview of the upcoming WNBA season, which begins this weekend. And a report on Serena Williams losing in Italy. Read about the beach soccer team's preparation for an upcoming tournament. And get the latest on Major League Baseball, Jazz closer to returning to the Marlins. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 